There are many, many different chemicals, and only a fraction of these have been really thoroughly tested. The goal of our research is to identify chemicals that cause adverse effects, understand the mechanism by which they cause these effects, and then allow us to more clearly identify risks associated with exposure so that ultimately we can protect humans from unnecessary exposure to chemicals that cause cancer or other types of toxic effects. Decisions about whether a chemical caused cancer or not are really driven by the sort of legislative mandate. I serve on a committee within the state of California called the Carcinogen Identification Committee that helps evaluate chemicals to determine whether they should be placed on the list of chemicals known to the state of California as causing cancer. Prop 65 has worked behind the scenes to try to remove a chemical that might have been a cancer risk. And that's one of the benefits of Prop 65, in my opinion, is it helps people realize when they're being exposed to chemicals which are known to cause cancer. And that's why we have government regulatory agencies, that they work closely with chemical agencies and environmental agencies trying to find the right balance between what chemicals can be used safely versus what chemicals are used in ways that may pose risks to the public. Part of this is to try and improve approaches that are used and identifying whether we could use this information for risk assessment purposes. And that's important, I think, for the general public because we would like to be confident that when we eat something, that that food is safe to eat. When we're breathing the air, that it's safe for us to breathe, that our children can play in an area that's safe. So I think the work we do is actually very important and is one of these sort of critical things which provides a level of confidence to the public that they can function in a normal life and be basically function in a safe fashion.